Hey fellow Backyard Warriors, Nick here. Now my youngest son's birthday is coming up and he is a huge fan of Maui from the movie Moana. And one of the things I really liked about that movie was being able to explain some of the mythology behind it and also expose my sons to a bit of their Hawaiian heritage. So today I'm going to be carving a fish hook pendant for my son. He's pretty young, so I'm going to make sure to make it a little more stylized and not put any sharp points or sharp edges on it. The stone I'm going to be carving today is a piece of serpentine. This is harder than the serpentine I used for the patu. Now while this stone is harder than the other serpentine I used, it's still soft enough to be cut with my metal cutting bandsaw. Now keep in mind that you don't want to try this with a wood cutting bandsaw and if you do have a metal cutting bandsaw make sure to use a used blade because new blades tend to shed their teeth really quick. Also make sure that when you're cutting stone dry like this to wear adequate lung protection. I am wearing a respirator today. So now that I've got this little block, I'm going to cut off this lighter material because I was looking at it and it's got a lot of cracks in it. And I might turn it into something else, but I'm going for this, sort of the heart of this. I'm going to cut off this part and I'm going to cut this in two and I should have enough for two carvings. So I'm going to be using this center piece. It looks really nice and solid. I'm going to start out by drilling my central hole that will be the main portion of the hook and then everything else will sort of be an extension of that. All right, so I'm just going to sort of freehand this. I've got my cone cutting bit. This is a carbide cutting bit and it will cut this stone. And I'm going to sort of visualize, so I think this is where the shank is going to be. It's going to come around, down, up into the barb. And so the main hole is going to go right around here. So I'm going to start this and I'll adjust it and move around as I go. All right, so I've gone and scratched in the design I'm going for. I'm going really simple. I may or may not put a tiny little barb at the end here. I'll see, I might make it all the way around, but adding a barb might be kind of nice, so I might do that. But this is what I've got so far. I'm gonna take it back to the saw and cut off all of these loose ends, and then I'm going to use the saw to cut inside of here just so it'll be easier to get in there with files.
So now I'm gonna do some carving. I've got a fine farrier's rasp. I'm gonna be using this for most of my rough shaping. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start establishing my center line. I'm just gonna grind from both sides until everything meets, except for places that are going to be more round, like up here. And this barb is gonna be a little fatter than what I'd normally do because I don't want it to be too sharp. And I'm going to be working this stone wet so that there's not as much dust. All right, so now I'm gonna to switch to this file just to get in here and kind of clean up some of these areas. Now I'm going to use sandpaper to clean up the inside and start working on the inside bevel and I'm going to use it to shape the end of the barb. You can see I'm using the curve of the sandpaper to conform to the shape I want. So now to get that nice inside bevel I just put my sandpaper back in, tilt it at an angle and then just go one pass at a time. All right, now I'm gonna round off this barb just a little bit so it's not as protruding. I also wanna soften it up a little bit so it doesn't catch, but I still want it to look like a nice clean barb. Now I'm going to start going up the grits. I'm gonna start with 220 grit sandpaper, then we're gonna go up to 500, thousand then from there I'm gonna go fifteen hundred all the way to fifteen thousand I shouldn't have to do any buffing or any additional polishing after that so here we go All right, so I've gone ahead and dried it off, and I think I got everything. I don't see any dull spots. It's all got this nice, not super high gloss, but a nice luster to it. All right, so when I was trying to tie on the lashing, the end of this barb fell off. And when I was looking at the stone, you can actually see 
There are several layers here comprising the tip. And if you look carefully, you can see this layer begins right where the barb snapped off. So I've gone ahead, reshaped it down, making this a little stronger. I can't really make it any larger. And I made sure that it's sitting at the bottom of this layer, so hopefully it has a good amount of strength. So here it is, all finished up. I'm happy with the way it turned out, though I wish that hadn't broken, but it is what it is. It still turned out nice. And I went ahead and made a toggle out of the same piece of stone. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed carving this with me today. If you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see me make, please let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to check out my channel for other videos like this. And I've also written several books on different topics, and I'll put a link to those in the description below. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!